How's it going guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a custom cape for your action figures. So I'm sure we all know the feeling of when you get a nice new shiny figure and it's awesome, but it's also very restricting all at the same time because it's got this big clunky rubber cape on it that doesn't really do anything at all. Sure, it looks fine on the shelf, but it could be pretty restricting if you ever try to put it in dynamic posing and you're definitely not going to be able to do anything really cool if you're doing some toy photography with it, that's for sure. And so that's the case with this new McFarlane, the Batman figure, which is actually a pretty sweet figure. But what it needs is a nice cloth cape with some wire in it, it's just so I can put it in some cool dynamic posing like... like um, Hang on a minute. <laughs> okay, it looks like the joint just popped out a little bit. I should be able to pop that right back in after I take off this big clunky cape. Okay, just need a little bit of pressure. <laughs> okay, uh, um, maybe just... Okay, maybe it's a better idea to just go in here with an X-Acto knife a little bit, cut out some of the rubber, and it should be able to come out just fine after that. So slicing it up a little bit with the X-Acto knife was definitely the way to go. That came out just fine. So these front pieces should pop off pretty easily. That's okay, looking good there. There's also a little collar back there I don't want to rip off, so I'm going to be careful to leave that on there as well. And so now the whole cape should be off now. There we go. And now I think I can finally pop that arm back in. Hopefully, we'll see. There we go, good as new. So what you're gonna need is some wire and also some scissors as well and maybe some needles for sewing and then also just a bunch of fabric and really any fabric is great. Uh, this is some very special fancy cosplay fabric from my girlfriend, but uh, even if you have just some kind of old t-shirt that you cut up, that will work just fine for Batman here. But actually this stuff looks really good. I think it's gonna turn out really quite perfect to make a cape with, so yay. So first, let's just cut off a big chunk of the cape that's in a rough cape shape, at least for us to work with. Then we can really match it up with the figure and cut it out some more so we get the perfect cape shape. And this will, of course, vary on whatever figure you're using and whatever kind of cape that character has. And Batman's cape attaches like right on his collarbone, so this cape actually looks like it should fit pretty well so far. All right, we'll work on attaching it later on. Batman also has like a little bit of a zigzaggy pattern towards the bottom of the cape, so I'm gonna do some cuts down there so I can accomplish that. All right, it's not perfect, but it should do just fine. And you know what, I think it looks pretty good. So this is just some aluminum wire from the craft store. I think it's about a 14 or 12 gauge, but really the thickness is completely up to you. This might be actually a little bit thicker than you would need, but uh, it should be just fine. But really any kind of wire will work just fine. So essentially what we're going to be doing is folding the cloth over the wire on the side here and then we're going to be sewing that fold shut. So then the wire is kind of ingrained into the cape and then we can pose the wire and stuff in the cape and pose the cape. It'll be awesome. And so then after we do that, we'll do the same thing basically on the other side and uh, we'll have a fully posable cape. So one really important thing we have to make sure we do is to create some kind of little pocket over on the bottom here, just like this. Because if we don't have this little pocket, the wire could eventually just slide right out after we sew it, and we don't want that. So we're going to make sure that pocket is in there real nice, or it could slide right out. So before we actually go and do any sewing or anything, we're actually gonna fold up the little pocket on the bottom here and then super glue it down. So that pocket at least is there and then we can reinforce it later with the sewing. Okay, now I think it's time for the hard part. Uh, let's get to the sewing. So we're just gonna take some basic black thread and try to get it through our needle. And once you do get it through your needle, that's always the hardest part. Gonna make sure there's like a few inches of extra slack on the other side of the needle so that we can kind of have some to work with. And so here's our fold right around here. And so basically the goal is to sew a line all the way along here, right along where the wire is. And I don't really know Jack 
crap about sewing like at all, but it's really not nearly as hard as you think. And so the basic goal is to kind of just poke the needle through one side and then just kind of poke it back through the other side uh, and do that in kind of a line formation until there's no uh, thread left. And that's pretty much it for the most part. And just keep doing it over and over. Um, it is kind of hard at first, I'm not going to lie. But uh, once you do it for a little bit, it gets so much easier, I swear. Because trust me, I literally know nothing about sewing. My girlfriend is a cosplay master and she sews stuff. And I kind of watch her sometimes. But that's, uh, that's all I got as far as sewing goes. So if I can do it, you can definitely do it too. And honestly, if you've never done any kind of sewing or anything like that before, what I would say is just jump right in and give it a shot. If you know what, the first time it kind of sucks, that's okay. Just try it again and I guarantee it'll be so much better the first time. Uh, just try to think of all the different things you did back in home ec class. So what you're going to do when you finally get to the end is you're going to go in a continuous loop over and over in the same spot. So you're kind of reinforcing that ending so it never comes loose. So on the other side of the string, there should still be all of this thread that's still attached to the spool. So we're going to cut it off just like that. And what we're going to do with the final little bits of that is we're going to attach it back to the needle. And we're going to just reinforce it back up through the same line we already made just to make it a little stronger. And then it's going to be super strong everywhere. And all right, one half of the sewing is totally done. Uh, it looks pretty good. I would say it, it, I mean, it doesn't look totally professional, but that's totally okay. I think it looks great. You know, Batman is not a professional seamstress either, but, you know, I'm sure he had to just, you know, figure things out as he went along too. And you know what? That's okay. <laughs> So now to finalize it, I'm just going to take the super glue and I'm going to super glue those little flaps of string at the end here, just so it's totally done, locked in, all done. And so now we're just going to repeat the entire process all over again on the other end of the cape with the other wire. So then we get two full wires on both sides of the cape. It's going to be fully poseable and fully awesome. All right, so check it out. This is it. The cape itself is 100% finished. It looks pretty good, and I'm definitely not an expert at this kind of thing, so I am very proud of how it came out. So now we just got to figure out how we're going to get it on to Batman. So what I think I'm going to do is I left these wires sticking out so I can poke them inside of his chest. I actually want to drill a hole into the tops of this collarbone so I can stick the wires through it. And then once the wires are through it, it's going to be firmly inside of his back and in his chest so I can move the cape around as much as I want. All right, now let's stick those wires in the holes as far as we can get them. All right, and look at that. Batman with his fully posable custom cape. On him that looks great look at him I can move the wires around as much as I want and get it in any pose I want but um, it's not a completely finished yet there's still a little bit of wire showing right in front of his collarbones there but man I'm having so much fun just posing it around but uh, really the next thing I got to do is add a little bit of flap of just some of the fabric over the where the wires are so you can't really see the wires and then after that he'll be hundred percent done so overall i think the cape came out pretty dang good i'm pretty proud of myself even though i'm not the professional seam stress person whatever uh, I think it looks pretty good so uh, next weekend I'm gonna post a whole video on just some awesome uh, fun photos with this guy a whole Batman toy photography video so make sure to see that next week uh, and uh, I'll see you then thanks guys <laughs> <laughs>